result yesterday in the downhill, seventh place, and she did not quite understand why she was that far back, which was strange to us because the skiing top to bottom really seemed to have a lot of holes in it. So I talked to her coach, Steph Alton, and he said her timing was off, and uh, timing's going to be incredible, incredibly important for her today to stay on time early in the turn to stay out of the slush if you get low. It's the kind of surface where you could be a little nervous if you're Vaughn's coach because of those high angles yeah. that she generates. Oh, look at it. She is much better than yesterday. Yesterday, skidding everything. This, much cleaner so far. Comes off the top with a little lead, as she often does. Now Vaughn needs to get it done where Maze was brilliant. Good tactical move like there. She, one of the highest lines right here. She's above the exiting ruts. Smart move. A very different skier than we saw yesterday. Lindsey Vaughn taking care of the details. I, I'm wondering if her setup was wrong yesterday because she's so confident on the outside ski today. She wasn't yesterday. Well, she said she feels more comfortable in Super G than in downhill. And you got to take her at her word because there were some great turns in there. And Vaughn gets there in time and in the lead. So she, she, she takes care of Maze. That's only half the battle, fending herself there. But you said it, Steve. A different skier today. Confident, clean. Just, you know, maybe just this inconsistency is this you know, rush to return this year. She missed a lot of training in the past. I mean, as you said, what Stacy Cook said, Tina Maze enjoying the heat down on the finish line and the pressure from her competitors. 